Guess what, guys? It's finally here! <laughs> Alright, hey, so, it's been so long, and I've been waiting to get, and to receive, actually, my, um, you guys probably don't know what it is, but I'll leave it until it's opened, to receive this for so long. It is from New Egg. I've been talking about it in my last vlog. If I open this up, you probably got, you guys probably don't know what it is. It is this beauty right here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've been waiting to receive this in the mail and for like five days, which is not too much. But I've been waiting to actually order and get a new graphics card for like, I don't, I don't know how, two months or something. And it's been, oh man, I've been begging my parents to get it for me. Birthday money um, for my grandparents and my parents finally got me to get this card and it is a great entry level card even though it's entry level it's still really amazing performance for what I want to be doing it can also help me improve my video quality improve my gameplay experience more frames per second and just better video quality for um, other stuff not just gaming because uh for playback videos other stuff maybe it may help in a bit of rendering and editing I will be updating my PC rig in my about section and other stuff too all this is basically a new graphics card it is a amazing graphics card it is the EVGA GTX or GeForce GTX 750 Ti the for the win model so it's the one with the two fans as you can see at the back there it has two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, video memory, and it has its active cooling stream or revised ACX cooling from EVGA. And in my opinion, EVGA is one of um, the best uh, manufacturers for um, great cooling and great performance on um, NVIDIA's Kepler and Maxwell, all their cards from the 700 series, 600 series, you know, all that stuff. I just love EGA because of its um, great performance, great ACX cooling, even though this card doesn't really need too much cooling because it doesn't really go hotter than 55 degrees Celsius. It's uh, NVIDIA G-Sync ready, so cause, because it does have a full-size display port, um, and I won't be actually opening it up and showing it to you guys because I can't really do that yet because I'm going to be installing it tomorrow because I don't have the time today. Anyways, so, yeah, I'll just tell you all the ports now. Here's what it looks like. I may have a picture up on the screen or something right now, but this is what it looks like. It has a display, one display port, a full-size display port, one HDMI, and also a DVI, I think. It's the analog one. It looks like it. It's in the non-digital only. Yeah. Here are the ports on the back. Right there. It's based on my DVI. Has some specifications and stuff right there. It's just it's just an amazing entry level card, but does deliver great performance. It's not um as good as like the uh, 770 or 780. Um, but it it was in my budget for great performance. I could I could have gone for the the Radeon. R7 265 or 260X, but I chose to go with EVGA because I, I'm really comfortable with EVGA's products or NVIDIA's products in general, and it just seemed like a great card for me for what I wanted to be doing. So, I also bought this, but since my, uh, my computer was a store bought OEM computer, I needed a new power supply. So, I had to get a new power supply too. Put this right there. I, I uh, went with the Rosewill Stallion. This is the uh, Rosewell Stallion RD400 power supply. It does have a 6-pin PCIe Express 6-pin connector that I do need because the graphics card, it has good performance and it can overclock weld, so it does need a uh, extra 6-pin connector from power supply. So, let's get the stupid box out of the way and get with the two amazing products that I actually bought for. And uh, it, I did get them both for new, I guess you can tell from the box. It's just... It's so amazing. I've been waiting for this card and uh, for this power supply in so long. My uncle is going to help us install it. Well, me install it. I'll help me install it. And it's just, oh man, I was so excited to get this when I when I went in the mail. Um, I actually wasn't, I had to pick, my dad had to pick it up from the, um, from the place where the pier later or the, the place where you pick up the factory stuff. So, because I was not, we were not at home when I uh, had a baseball game. So, yeah. This is what came, comes in the box of the power supply. This is not even a true unboxing. I'm just showcasing what I have in the mail and just showcasing, showcasing what is, is inside the box. So we have the, uh, this is the power supply, the RD400. Of course, it is 400 watts. 
I think it's just enough to handle the um, the 750 Ti for the win because uh, it says on the box that it needs a minimum of 400, but from what people have said, their 300 or 350 watt power supplies are enough, they're okay, but I just wanted to go with the 400 watt because, uh, yeah, but online, on their actual website, it said the requirements are minimum of 300 watt, but on the box, it says it needs a minimum of 400 watts. So, or greater, with a ma ma minimum of 20 amps on the plus 12 volt rail. So, I don't know, it's kind of like, I don't know, like, it, can make, it can throw you off because, um, I could I, I should just suggest we go to a a 400 power supply or a 450 power supply or greater. Uh, I think it would be ideal to get a 650 power supply or maybe just a 500 watt because that would be ideal if you're doing what I do. So uh, this um, graphics card was um, it was ideal for if you have a store bought computer um, with uh, like let's say an, uh, an i3 or an i5 in it, then you can upgrade your um, graphic card. And if it, if you're maybe if you have a store bought computer that has integrated graphics like an APU from Radeon or integrated graphics from from uh, Intel, APU from AMD, sorry, not Radeon, but then you can get this card or maybe even the 760 to upgrade your store bought computer to make it gaming ready. It was only 170 dollars on Newegg, 180 with taxes and stuff, but uh, with the 40 dollar power supply, it, uh, these both these um. Hardware, it was it equal up to two hundred and sixty dollars, so not too much. You can uh, 1050 Ti is six hundred dollars just for the Ti. But I need a new power supply too. So we have this thing in there. We have the power cord. Looks like it right there. It is non-modular. That's what kind of sucks, but you know, you get what you get. It's it was only fifty dollars, forty dollars, or great for its price. It is a Rosewell. I've heard that Rosewell. Um, never really heard that much from Rosewell actually. Um, my dad just went with a cheaper one, but this does look like it is probably going to be a good quality PSU. I don't know if it, it might fit my case. My case looks like um, a pretty good Mitaro case. If you if you want to know what my case looks like, you might want to check out my set of videos, my latest set of videos. It's a J Just Nero set of video version 2.0. Again, this is my power supply. This is what it actually looks like. So it's non-modular, you can tell, because it has all the wires here already. Right there is is pretty good power supply. It does have the six pin connector in here somewhere. I I saw it before. Right there, the six pin connector I do need for uh, my graphics card. Let's see if we can put this back in without wrecking anything. So that is the power supply that I got because I it's kind of essential and non expensive, inexpensive. There we go. That out of the way now. Let's get to the graphics card. This is the EV. Of course, you probably guys already know what it is. I've been waiting to get this graphic card for so long. If you saw my last vlog, week 13, you know that um, I was with uh, Cool Guy Fire. We were talking about how I was so excited to get this graphics card. So, what you get in the box? You open it, you get a VGA to DVI adapter. You can't really see it in the video because it's an anti static thing. It's a VGA, you see the blue VGA? You can't, you can't really see that well. To DVI, or I probably got it mixed up. But if you have an older monitor, you can use this to, you know, support your monitor. Um, we also have what's in here: a two Molexes. It looks like it's a Mo Molex two six pin, because of course the card does need a six pin connector. That is essential if you have an old power supply. And if we let me just open it on the other side, it's easier to get. Ah. Uh, okay, let's go from this side. And we have in the box. This is just a showcase. I'm not exactly opening it up yet. The actual graphics card itself in uh, cool bubble wrap, as you can see. It's um the length is 9.5 inches by 4.38 inches. That's the exact dimensions of the card itself. But not not the actual bubble wrap. This is just covered in bubble wrap. This is pretty cool. Leave that there. You might want to have some anti-static. A plastic, if um, or just leave it in there if you're not installing it yet. We have the graphics card user guide. This is where I kind of really need this, which has um, an attention sticker about. You can read that if you want. There all, and also the warning that about updating your BIOS. I think that that's what it's about. Something about your BIOS. I just saw it in there. Okay, so you, you might want to keep these actually because they're pretty central. We also have the driver disc 
installation disc thing, which you might not want to use. I, I do not recommend to use these because you might want to, because these are so outdated, you, you, you're better off installing it from EVGA's website or NVIDIA's driver website. And that seems to be in the box. You also get an amazing poster, which I can show you right now. Let me just take this off my tripod. Right there. That is the poster that does come with the box. Art of the Game EVGA. Innovation Inspiration. I already put it up there for convenience. <laughs> you guys can probably tell. Okay. It's kind of messy on my bed here. And you also, it also came with a case pad that is um, on my case right now. If you want, I can show you my case. If you guys so want it. My chair, that's so messy. Oh my god. I never know how messy my room is. Okay. There it is right there. Look, it has the EVGA case badge. Powered by EVGA. This is how big my tower is. Pretty sure it can fit um, my new power supply and my graphics card. Of course, it does have that graphics card with the graphics card, which I will not open yet. Because uh, I don't need to open it yet, and I don't want to open it yet. So... And yeah, that's basically it. That's what I got in the mail, guys. I'm so excited to finally have my new graphics card. Better gaming, better YouTube videos for you guys. It's going to be amazing because I've been waiting to get this for so long. I'm not just, I got really happy when I came in the mail and when my dad picked it up for me. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Expect um, a lot of gameplay videos and stuff like that. It's going to be really amazing. Like. I get a lot more FPS with this thing than my old Radeon HD 8470D. I don't know if it was integrated or not. Um, I think it was a discrete graphics card, but who cares? I have a new one. This is going to be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will be doing an update video of maybe when I open it or when I install it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.